for you guys on this boring light I will talk about my experience with this car um, keep in mind I have a extended warranty so I think it covers in total like nine years from the buying point so this is a 2018 around 2027 20, the warranty will, will expire but for now it's been so free I guess it depends on the dealership you're buying from some of them might be a bit more uh, not inclined to change things and like you know what I'm talking about but for the one I had it was uh, great I have no issues I don't know if you live in Montreal or in Quebec but if you live here um, in Quebec or around Montreal the region of it in general the dealerships from what I heard they're pretty pretty good they're not really uh, a problem with warranty and stuff like that with them but the car itself uh, had some issues of course like they're not really that re reliable as I would have thought but thinking back it's like a bit normal these are luxury cars and they just break it's just like that for most of these cars it's like so you cannot really brag with someone and just argue about this it's like it's gonna cost money because you're already paying a lot for it so they know you have money so <laughs> they don't care but that being said with warranty I have paid I think 3500 for the warranty if I recall not sure uh, yeah I went with uh, I got the turbos done at I think I was at uh, I want to say 80 or 90 thousand kilometers so maybe 50 thousand miles or so and uh, a sunset is beautiful but uh, yeah I got this done. I asked for for the advisor what would have been the price if I didn't have a warranty. He said twelve thousand dollars or so. I think it's a bit exaggerated, but uh, yeah, if you're at that point and you have to pay from your pocket, just go to a shop and make them install uh, better turbos. It will probably cost you less or around the same but you're gonna have something better and more power also at the same time and also had the belt tensioner done was this one wasn't on warranty I think it was like I want to say 500 or so dollars yeah, 5, 540, 550, something like that. Because these tensioners have a tendency to fail. The belt was good. It's just a tensioner that doesn't tighten the belt well or is malfunctioning or some sort. I guess it's cheap. From what I heard, it's made of plastic. So I was like, it's a hard plastic, but still plastic with heat is just uh, not good. And also I had done bearings, wheel bearings, to up front. These weren't on the warranty, if I recall. And uh, these were, I think, around the same price as the tensioner. So five, 500 something. When you go to do anything, basically, it's like rare that it's gonna be less than five hundred dollars. In general, it's gonna be five hundred and more. Oil change is like for me, it's like one seventy, one fifty dollars. And they're really picky. If you go somewhere else and use a different brand of oil, even though it's the same consistency, if you use a different brand, they might void your warranty on the engine. So. It's like, you really have to be careful with this but I think it's 
those luxury brands are like that. They just want excuses to make you go to the dealer. So I recommend getting, when you buy the car or lease it, have some oil changes included, would be great. Oh yeah, I just remember with this bottle. Control arms, yeah. They're aluminum and they aluminium I mean and they are a big chunk of aluminium and it's big expensive. It's like six hundred dollars Canadian for one arm. And I'm talking about the lower control arms. They're like six hundred a piece and uh one Often when they change those, they change also the other side. That's what they're gonna probably ask to do or recommend. Oh, that's fucking stupid. They put this in the curve. Why am I supposed to know there's someone coming? control arms by the way they were included in the warranty so I didn't have to pay anything that's a great thing uh, when it's like that it's like you can get towing you get you can get towed for free uh, up to a certain mileage or kilometers of course always works like that you know but uh, what else yeah they were included and they lent me a car for me to go work and stuff so they're, they're really great with this data it's asshole free and you, once you come back with the car they don't even check if you put gas in it or they don't care Just, they're really chill with this that's what i like i would have liked to get, keep this dealership if, if uh, for my next car but it seems like it won't be possible since they're discontinuing the q50s Unless I get a more recent one, just to keep that one, I don't know, I might do that, we'll see, but, uh, yeah, those were the issues I got with the car, from what I remember, it's pretty much it, a rattling noise from the back, where the old mufflers were, there's like a tin sheet of metal over uh, on top of the mufflers, that thing is loosening up, loosening it up with uh, rust and whatever, and it made a rattling sound was annoying so if you have a rattling sound on your q50 it might be that yeah i'm gonna have to check that out if, it, if it's really this but so it wasn't really anything big i just gave them like uh, 50 or 60 dollars for the time to remove it and that's it really simple and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I've had the car. For t uh, I forgot to mention a couple of important things, like the mileage of my car. It's uh, 122,000 miles. So uh, that's 122k. I think kilometers. So if you made the translation with the mileage I think it would be somewhere around 75 70 thousand miles on the car but it's been otherwise no issues at all I did some maintenance with the um, what's it called the transfer case rear diff those are standard things you should do on cars like that. Wait, ciao guys. Peace.